continents, four legends, their stories and secrets revealed, and two hours of non-stop spear fishing action. Spear fishing would be very different today if it were not for one man. This next legend is Rob Allen, the man who pretty much revolutionized the spear gun. Rob never started out in the spear fishing industry. He worked in conservation as a game ranger. He was posted on a secluded stretch of beach on the Zululand coast, and in his off time, he went spear fishing. The Zululand coast is infamous for its clean water and big game fish. Rob soon realized that he would need to modify his equipment if he was going to land these powerful pelagics. The stories of Rob started to emerge about the gear that he was developing and taking massive fish with. Soon, other spear fishermen started to discover the huge challenge of hunting in the blue. Rob's guns were in demand, and from these humble beginnings, the legend of Rob Allen began. Today, Rob Allen's gear is known all around the world. This is his story, and a glimpse into the life of the man behind the spear gun. I spent my whole life in the marine environment. Uh, in the beginning it was all fishing, but I was always very curious as to what went on under the water. I was always very intimidated by our fish being eaten by sharks, so it was quite difficult for me to get in the water. And my very first time I got in the water to go spearfishing, I swam straight into a great white. The fact he didn't eat me is the only reason I went back in again thereafter. And the bug bit, it was an amazing experience to be under there in the same environment as all the fish I had been catching. What really fascinates me in the marine environment is not, it's not all about just getting in there and shooting fish. There's just so much to see. These mantas, sharks, whale sharks, whales, dolphins, you name it, you get to see it. Not every day, but many a day. It surprises you. All of a sudden you're lost in thought and this ginormous whale swims up to you. It's just a fascinating experience to be able to see that and hear it. The sounds is unbelievable underwater with whales when they're singing. It's just this constant surprise you get when you're in the ocean. It's really amazing. My favorite fish to hunt is the king mackerel, Spanish mackerel, cooter. Comes by different names in different parts of the world. They just seem to be the, the more gentleman fish. There's definitely a technique to approach them. And it took a long time to learn that technique and to find their nuances, their blind spot how you can approach them, how you can't approach them, all of that is, is years of swimming with them. And it's all in the hunt, it's not the shot, it's the hunt that, that is fascinating to me. You've got to approach the fish, hunt it, try not to scare it, and get close enough to put a good shot in. And then once you've got the shot in, that initial run is unbelievable. And the, the hope that you don't lose it, the hope that a shark doesn't come along and eat it, all of that just gets the adrenaline going. By the same token, you're trying to control that adrenaline because you're holding your breath at the same time. Spearfishing is, is extremely contagious. I think it's something to do with the adrenaline rush. There's many a time you're sitting there very placid and calm and all of a sudden this ginormous game fish swims up towards you or near you and the adrenaline rush is unbelievable and, and that's to me the main attraction. The reason I like game fish more is I find them a lot more exciting. That fast acceleration of a big Spanish mackerel is unbelievable, you can't beat that. Many years ago, game fish were more of a luck fish. Generally your equipment was geared towards shooting good reef fish in the old days was big groper as well. If a good game fish came past and you did manage to snag it, it was just in passing. 
Whereas I tended to concentrate only on game fish when I first started and I realized the equipment available wasn't really suited. We needed longer, stronger, more maneuverable guns. And that's the trend I went and it definitely seemed to open a, a market. A lot more guys these days are hunting blue water fish opposed to reef fish. <laughs> Is it <laughs> heavy? <laughs> Your 30 kilo bus, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I am the Kuta King now. <laughs> to watch this heart stopping 35 minute chapter about Rob Allen online now, go to the link in the description of this video. Or visit SpiroDVD.com to buy the whole two hour long action packed One Fish Legends movie on Blu ray or DVD.